San Diego County is replacing those food drives that started popping up shortly after the pandemic started. Many times, families waiting in lines for hours only to find that supplies had run out. ABC 10 News reporter Marie Cornell is in Mira Mesa with why leaders say the super pantries won't leave anyone hungry. The San Diego Food Bank selected 35 nonprofit organizations. The goal is to provide them with food and supplies so that they can continue serving those in their community. We're able to uh, provide to the local community. Robert Marquez is part of La Maestra Community Health Center. They provide health and support services to families from the South Bay to East County. Many of those they serve come from low income households. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, they helped about 300 families a week. Since then, that number has doubled. They're now feeding close to 600 families a week. There's families that, you know, both parents work and now they're coming to us and getting food because they need it. Every little bit helps. At a news conference with mayors from San Diego, Chula Vista and Escondido, the San Diego Food Bank announced the kickoff of their Super Pantries program where they have partnered with 35 pre-selected organizations. Instead of holding the mass distribution food events they've done in the past, they will now focus on providing these organizations with food and supplies. Now these more grassroots approach in their own community, they can come and get the food they need with complete dignity. Each organization will also get a check for $20,000. Money, Robert says, will go towards buying a new delivery truck so that they can continue their work in the community. These super pantries will begin serving families starting July 1st. From Mira Mesa, Marie Cornell, ABC 10 News.